what's up what's up what's up my fellow creators welcome guys i hope you're having a beautifully phenomenally blessed day thank you for joining me for a moment becky's house of cards today we are going down the rabbit hole with a prophetic word on watch out for family okay this was just something that was given to me and it has been bothering me and bothering me and finally source tells me you gotta give it and i was like okay I didn't want to. The message is not very pretty, so I'm just sending out a trigger alert here, guys. If you're weak hearted, this may not be for you. So, again, it's just this is for that person who needs to hear it, okay? Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below, set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. Knowing that that is a free way to support the channel as well as to connect me with you energetically to get you out more resonating readings, more resonating content, whatever that should be. And I want to send a shout out to my OGs, my new Gs, and anybody that allows me your most precious asset, your time. As always, it's an honor, a pleasure, a blessing being here, giving you guys these messages. And my prayer, as always, is that any of the videos of mine that you choose to watch happen to fall upon your heart in a way that reminds you to use your intuition, to use your discernment, to take back your power, and to make the decisions that serve your highest journey in this here, now, now, here moment. So let's get into it. Uh, so, watch out for family. There's somebody in your family that's very masculine. Okay, again, when I say masculine, I'm not saying it's a male or it's a woman or female, but it's just somebody who's masculine by nature, and you guys understand those traits, right? Somebody who's very stern and hard and cold, and, you know, not everybody has these, but it's very masculine. It could be a masculine sign that we're dealing with, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Um, they're very masculine, and behind closed doors, okay, this person is very ruthless when it comes to you. And they've been very ruthless behind closed doors, but they haven't said anything to your face, and something's going to break where this person is going to come through and they're basically going to tell you that you're worthless. They're going to tell you that you are a mess, that you don't belong, that you should, you were a mistake. Like they're, I mean, they're, they're going to be really, really rude and awful towards you. And so I first must apologize, but as source was showing me this, it was just, like I said, I did not want to mention this. I did not want to do this prophetic word because of this and source is not letting it go. Like that's this pretty profound. And so you learn somewhere along the way not to say anything and you basically aren't it's not like you're taking it from them okay like that's the thing like i feel like at one point i thought source is making me stand still saying nothing to take this punishment from this person to say that you weren't doing what you needed to do until what happened happened okay and so it's not that it's it, it's not it's like as as it progressed i understood exactly what was going on but at first, you're sitting there and you're being silent because you know arguing with this person isn't going to get you anywhere. And so you stay silent and you let them say whatever it is. And I'm telling you guys, like, the things that they were saying, I don't even want to repeat. Like, they were just, I mean, ruthless doesn't, this is like the bully of bullies of bullies of bullies, okay? Like, this person is just, ugh. They're so hurt, and they're putting all that hurt on you. And then you have another family member that comes in. Okay, and this could happen around your birthday. I just want you guys to understand this could happen around your birthday. It might not. It might happen around their birthday, but again, this is just a heads up, okay? It's not a time frame or anything, but just to be prepared. However, one of your other family members comes in who's actually close to this particular individual. They're, they're, they're kind of like besties, and you kind of know that they sit and they yammer about everybody and their mom. And in fact, if you guys watched my An Uncle Who prophetic reading that I had, this kind of, it's kind of like the continuation because it could be your uncle coming in or it could be an uncle-like figure or another, just another masculine coming in that is doing this so we have like a father grandfather uh this could be an uncle it could be an aunt it could be a grandmother it could be anybody okay somebody that's very masculine but anyways another masculine energy comes in and sees the way that 
your relative is talking to you and you finally have enough and you basically say, stop being a dick. Okay, and excuse me cursing on this. However, it needs to be said because it was so profound when you said it. Like, basically, conversation stopped dead. You were not joking. Okay, you were not kidding in this. You're like, look, you need to quit it. Uh, this forces you to move. Uh, you move residence or you just don't go back. You travel away, in other words. Like, you're, you're moving on beyond this person, but you begin to pack things up and this other masculine comes in. It, again, this uncle energy that I keep getting, but... Uh, it doesn't have to be an uncle, okay? This could just be somebody who is just really close to this other relative that you have, okay? And I hope that this is holding sense because sometimes I'm given energies and sometimes I'm not. So uh, anyways, they come over and they say, you need to show your relative respect. And then they just walk away from you. Like they don't even let you have any words because that's the thing. This They know they know that you've come, like, whoever this message is for, you guys have come very far in the spiritual journey, and you don't let people walk all over you, and that's why in the beginning, I really felt like you were being a doormat, and it wasn't, you weren't being a doormat, it's just that for so long, this person has been this way, and there's nothing that you could have done about it, it was like, basically, you have accepted that this person is as they are, and there's nothing that you can do, but you knew that you had to stand up for yourself, and that's why you said that one line, however it is that you say it. And when this uncle energy walks away, you guys go after them, and as they're like basically going outside, okay? And you, you follow them, and you catch them off in, and you say, it takes, you have to earn respect. Like, respect is not given. You have to earn respect. And I feel like Source wants me to highlight that right now. It's like understanding that just because someone has a blood tie to you does not mean that they're automatically... Uh, a recipient of your respect. If they don't respect you and if they're cruel to you, that is not something that you just have to say, oh, well, because you're my blood, I obviously have to just give you respect, even though you just said all these ridiculous things to me. Uncle Energy stops and looks at you and is like, what? And you're like, look, if you really want me to give this particular family member respect, then they have to understand it's earned, and I'm not just going to give it to them just because you say so. So this pisses off this uncle energy. Again, it doesn't have to be an uncle. This could be an aunt. It was just, that's the energy that they're giving. This is like somebody that's a relative, but not like immediate family compared to the person that's being rude. That's kind of like immediate family, okay? And uh, they leave. And then you guys end up running into somebody who reminds you of somebody that passed away that's very kind and generous and loving to you. And they bring in a reminder of you to have fun. And this is another person. This is a party that reminds you of somebody that's passed away in your family. Somebody you miss dearly. And they remind you to celebrate you, basically. And so you guys go on to celebrating you and you realize exactly what you told this uncle figure, okay? You realize and you understand this energy now. Sorry, guys. There's a huge boom. Hold on. Let me figure out what's going on. I see my dog up there. <laughs> She's all, what is going on? I was like, I don't know what that was. So, um, But you guys finally understand. Like, It's like basically this person helps you realize that what you said, you said with truth. Like, You weren't just saying it to defend yourself. You were saying it because it was true. And you need to embody that truth. And so after this blow up you guys are able to let go and it's in letting go that you guys are actually able to reconnect with your inner child and as you reconnect with your inner child you learn how to enjoy life on a on a level that you haven't been able to enjoy life okay i'm not saying that riches are coming i'm not saying like that what i'm saying is that you guys are beginning to understand what it is to go and be goofy and be silly and to be yourself and to you know, do those things that you love to do as a child, whether that was singing and dancing or it was interesting because the energy that they gave me was this ball pit and it was full of kids and playing with this like bubble gun and it shot out like soap suds and everything. I mean, it was, I was a lot of fun. I was so sad when, when the vision went away because I was like, I am having so much fun. Like, I don't want to leave. And so that source is just stressing, like you guys understand that 
as you stood up for yourself, now you guys are going to be able to embody a new being of yourself. It's like a raised vibration of yourself. And you're going to understand that just because somebody's blood doesn't mean that they deserve A, your time, nor your respect. They deserve your forgiveness because you deserve the forgiveness to free yourself from them. That that doesn't mean that you're inviting them back into your life. And it just allows you to let go in a way that you haven't been able to let go before. And it's actually really beautiful. So again, you're going to have this period of hardship. And it's not really hardship. It's just like, again, you've accepted them as they are. And it's like in that acceptance, you guys actually bring yourselves up into a brand new level. So this is a really wonderful energy that's coming in. And again, I just didn't want to talk about it because the things that this person said, and I'm not going to repeat them because it is, like, I just couldn't believe that somebody blood related would say things like that to somebody that they're related to. Like, I just, I was in shock. And so like, if this is, if this is resonating for you guys, I'm just. I apologize that that's something that you have to experience. Understanding so that that's a part of your growth, I do. But it's just, it's not fair. Like, it's it's not fair that somebody has to experience that from somebody that's supposed to love them no matter what because you guys have a blood relation. And it's also a reminder that just because we're blood related doesn't make us family. Just because you hold a title in somebody's life doesn't make you family. We can pick and choose our friends. We can't pick and choose our blood relatives, but we can pick and choose who we choose to form a family around, right? And that's not necessarily who we grew up with. So I hope that this helps you guys. I'm sending you out so much love, so much light. Uh, this was kind of a rough one for me. I mean, not all of them are simple or easy or anything like that. And some are really, really great messages. So hang in there with me, guys. If some of them seem rough, just know it's just there's always a growth period before you get to, what is it? Things are going to look bleak before they get better. This is one of those moments, okay? It's going to get better. It's going to get easier. It's going to get more brighter and lighter for you. So keep holding on. You guys are going to get to a new level in your spiritual journey, okay? So that being said, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. And until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we see each other again, peace out. I love y'all. Bye.